Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're two indentured servants being held captive by these 40 acres of land. It's so much fun. There are just a few things to mow, stack, and build before we can dive full-time into our cottage renovation. The most important order of business, cats. There have been four new arrivals on the cat cam, so we're preparing to trap them and get them to the vet, hopefully as soon as tomorrow. More on this in our next video. This is what our chateau and some of the grounds looked like when we moved in. It sort of had that depressed haunted house vibe we weren't quite looking for, but it was charming. We've been slowly making improvements and have a lot more exciting projects planned for the grounds. There used to be a circular driveway that wrapped around the entire building, but we decided a green space would be more practical for us. Lincoln worked tirelessly removing the roots of a giant hedge that covered up the front steps. He then repositioned all of the granite steps so they were aligned properly. I'm not sure how he did this, but I remember thinking he must have eaten his Wheaties or maybe consumed a massive amount of steroids that morning. We graveled and set up our dining table. It was a lovely spot, but there was one problem. It got a little too windy. I mean, who wants their oysters airborne, right? We decided a sofa would be more practical. Yeah. Yes, like Lincoln wanted to make sure to tell you we're going to leave the plastic on. Like at your. <laughs> Your old Italian aunt's house. <laughs> the perfect day to sit out. It's a great day. <laughs> The previous day I was having some reservations about the look of the sofa, but after repositioning it and seeing it in the sunshine, I changed my mind. Green. 
Well, now that I'm seeing the furniture positioned differently and with the cushions on, I don't think it looks as bad as I thought it was going to look. We call this building the pump house. We discovered a concrete slab beneath the grass and created an area that we never really used until now. Well, the grill is here now, which I think is a much better position. And we've moved the black table with the chairs over here. And it really gets incredibly windy here occasionally, so this area is quite protected. So I think this is the best solution for us. We have a nice table and chairs. Behind this door, we will put in a, um, a mini fridge. So we'll have access to whatever we need to use to, to grill. I've put in a small garden adjacent to the dining area. I call this my half-ass garden. Do you happen to own one of these too? I've just thrown plants here that I didn't really know what to do with. I haven't put much thought into this space, but I'm still in the process of edging and weeding, and hopefully it will look better soon. After I painted the garden bed white, I realized I made a mistake. It was supposed to be this color. This area on the side of the house just looks very drab. So we figure if we have some greenery growing up the wall, it'll be lovely. And then we can actually find a proper light fixture for over our side door.
the first time I've been in the orchard in quite some time. The grass has grown really long. Lincoln is out there trying to mow. It's quite difficult. You can see how long the grass is. That's the back entrance to our walled garden. And this whole area used to be trees. And uh, now it's sort of a nice flattened space. We still have these things to get rid of and clean up some stuff. But um, it's actually looking a lot better, believe it or not. We just had an area over here cleared of a bunch of trees. This was just overgrown and we still need to get in here and thin these trees. It's just too uh, much of a mishmash with all sorts of trees that just kind of grew. Well, this is our giant rhododendron mass. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's, it's a ring of these purple colored rhododendrons that wrap around our monkey puzzle tree, which you can see right there. And who knows when these were planted. We have several over across the driveway as well. And that needs a good trimming. These are just starting to bloom now. But they're, they're just, they're huge. And beneath here, these are brambles, which we've removed before and they've, they've obviously regrown. Uh, we haven't kept up with it. We trimmed these back when we first moved in and they, they need a nice trim again. But look at this one. Very pretty. And the bees are very happy. If you walk over here, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's just sort of a swarm of bees. And I'm convinced something lives in here. <laughs> it's like a little cave. Maybe a little gnome lives here or something, but um, I did find a couple of beautiful old pots that were buried in here, so it leads me to believe I might need to start digging around again.
Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have something to say, leave us a comment.